Chat chat te pano, no moe hoki mai. It's keeping up with te puanga mara as we journey the world of e-commerce through an indigenous lens on kaha ite ao e-commerce program. So we've just come back today, Fano, to talk to you about this week's belief changer. His name is Tamati Norman. He hails from the Nōta Whangaruru Harbour. He has a wife from Papua New Guinea and he is an extraordinary entrepreneur with an amazing story. Um, and we were fortunate enough this week to be able to share in his journey. Joy, so I really enjoyed Tamati's kōrero. He was vibey as. His journey's a bit of a roller coaster ride. Um, this guy's just done a million things. Yeah, just like mind-blowing. So in his earlier years, he was primed to be a rugby star. That stuff didn't really work out, so he went on to get a qualification in travel and tourism, became a chef. Um, from there, he started to build a business with the support of TPK, and he began selling coconut oil. I think the business evolved into something around rongoa and smellies, um, and the stuff that they got for that was sourced from both here in Aotearoa and his wahine whenua in Papua New Guinea. Um, yeah, now he's got like three different brands or a few different brands under his business, and one of them being the keto food company, which I thought was real cool. Uh, but for me, some of the main things I took away from Tamati's kōrero we're around learning to fail fast and knowing when to pull the plug. Another thing that really um, stuck with me from his kōrero, uh, I found that this is probably a common theme across a lot of the kai kōrero as well, is that they all emphasise not being scared and staying focused. But um, for me, one of the biggest takeaways from Tamati's kōrero uh, is related heavily to Tanga. He talks about ensuring that you have the right people and networks around you that will support you in your growth and journey. So that's me, Fano. Peace. Kia ora just back with Belief Changer Tamati Norman, follow from Ngati Kiri, Ngati Mania Puto and Ngati Ngaho. He is um, Māori ha, brought up in Whangaru. Um, I didn't actually capture his business kōrero, but what captured me was his upbringing kōrero and um, just how relatable it was. And it's just it was just real cool because he was real funny um, and it just, wasn't, it just wasn't all about don't give up. Um, you know, if you do this and you fail, then try something else. Like, it was, he just, he just talked about his experience, his upbringing, and how he got to where he is today. He's, he was, it was just completely different to any of the other belief changes. Real crack up dude, real funny. Um. Mary Ora Kota, I'm back again to share our week six belief changer. His name's Tamati Norman, and um, growing up, he was told that he wouldn't be able to do anything other than play rugby because that's all he was good at. Um, he also had ADHD, which made things a bit of a struggle and a bit challenging at times. But he eventually went on to study travel and tourism, and through that, he um, experienced many different job opportunities over the years. He eventually started his own business producing coconut oil. Um, and then from there, things kind of took off. He then started to branch out with other things, um, creating um, rungwa Māori products and also fragrances. The name of his business is Native Rituals. Um, some of the key takeaways from the kōrero he shared was to do with knowing our audience, um, having an office stack to attract the right customers, and also having the right imagery and aesthetics to go on the different social media platforms. And it's all about trial and error is what he shared. Mauri ora.